of the nine children, pediatric gunshot patients at Children's Mercy, one of them talked with Fox 4. He's 10 years old, now out of the hospital after a bullet grazed him. His family says in the confusion, they didn't realize he was wounded until they got to their Kansas City, Kansas home. Fox Force Jacob Kittle sat live near where the boy was hit as he huddled around a trash can just west of Union Station. Jake, how's he doing tonight? Well, physically, John, he's going to be okay. Mentally, though, this is all still very fresh and challenging. You really can't emphasize enough here that this is just a 10-year-old boy who came out here wanting to see his favorite football players. From the parade and ruin the Niners affair. to victory rally, a huge moment for some of the Chiefs' youngest fans. I love Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, Isaiah Pacheco, Jerry Sneed, and Rasheed Rice. Big Chiefs fan. When I woke up, I was excited to go to the parade. Samuel Ariano, with classes dismissed from Junction Elementary School, came from Kansas City, Kansas, and posted up to the left of the stage with his grandpa, uncle, and cousin. I just remember, like, hearing the gunshots, and I thought it was, like, firecrackers. When we got down, uh, we just saw people, like, running everywhere, people crying. And then I hid behind the trash can, but, like, I tried to cover my, uh, I tried to cover the sun because you know how it was sunny? Yeah, I tried to cover the sun, but when I covered it, they shot me. Samuel starts saying, complaining, like, oh, I got shot, I got shot. I don't know, it was it was so fast, everything. I told him, but they said that they stepped on me too. But yeah, they did step on me because the footprint on my chief jersey, there's a footprint, a big foot. Like when we got home, they said to check him because he said he got hit. And when they checked him, they saw like a, a grace bullet right here. I felt like I got stabbed. Right away when he got down the car, she took off the chair and he said, oh, dad, he, he got shot. She got scared and they called the ambulance right away. Samuel says the graze is healing, but the moment stays with him. I've been having like nightmares. Every, like last night, I've been having nightmares, flashbacks about what happened. And then I will close my eyes and then like, Two minutes later, I would like w wake up and start crying. Do you tell your family? Or? Yeah, I told, I told my parents because I had to sleep with them. And his grandfather, he says that he feels bad about all this because he felt responsible for the safety of his grandson. His grandson, however, feels exactly the opposite, calling his grandfather a hero, pulling him beneath a trailer for safety and trying to calm him during the panic, John. Jacob Kittlestad live tonight at Union Station. Jake, thanks.